This is a short overview on getting started in 1099 Pro CRS Pro software. In this tutorial, we will create a filer, also known as a financial institution or reporting FI, import account data from an Excel file, and generate an XML file. Let's get started. Working with CRS is easy as one, two, three. You can see that step one pertains to setting up your reporting FI. Step two relates to importing a file with CRS account data or entering account data in manually. And step three applies to creating the OECD CRS version 1.0 XML file. Entering a reporting FI. Let's begin with clicking on My Filers list under Step 1, Reporting FI, and start setting up the financial institutions or filers that you will be reporting information under. Please click on Add at the bottom right of the screen. If you are just installing the software for the very first time, the software will require you to enter in a Reporting FI before being able to move forward. You can enter a Reporting FI by selecting Add My First Filer. Any CRS account data that you enter must be related to a reporting FI. In the CRS Pro software, each filer must contain information for only one tax jurisdiction. Thus, if you have two branches for reporting an FI, one German and one French, you would create two filers and specify the receiving and transmitting countries as German for the first and French for the second. This is done so that branches do not commingle and double report CRS account data. Before we start entering a reporting FI, you will notice there are two tabs at the top, one for general and one for address information. We will start on the general tab. Please also notice the blue question mark icons next to various sections of the entry screen. You can click on these icons at any point to display extra help tips. The Help button at the bottom of the screen will bring up the entire CRS Pro help file targeted at your current location. The CRS Pro software requires that you enter a unique payer code before any filer, also known as a reporting FI, can be saved. The unique payer code is not reported as part of the CRS XML file but is used by the software as an identifier. This allows users to break down entities with the same identification number into different reporting buckets so that they can be reported separately. To begin, you can enter in the receiving and transmitting countries for the reporting FI. These are generally the same country for each. For example, reporting FI in the Cayman Islands would select the Cayman Islands as the transmitting country and the Cayman Islands again as the receiving country. Users can also click on the drop-down arrow icon to the right for a list of countries. Next, please add in the identifying numbers for the reporting FI by clicking the Add button in the area below. An identification number can also be accompanied by the Issued by Country and the identification number type. Like before, you can click on the drop-down arrow icon for a list of your choices. Please be aware that not all countries' identification number types may be included in the drop-down menu, which is why the software also provides you the ability to manually enter in a new type if required. Moving on to the filer names and name types, please select the Add button to begin entering the name and type of the reporting FI. The CRS valid name types are available from the drop-down icon. Select the Add button under the Filer Contact for Message Spec section in order to include the designated contact information when the XML is generated. This will allow the receiving country to notify the reporting FI if there are any issues. Select the blue question mark icons next to the prefix override and the No Reporting checkbox to see if these pertain to you. Generally, no reports can be required if a receiving country wants you to create and submit a file even though you have no data to report. Select the Address Information tab at the top and you can add the resident country code and country name. Once done, please enter in the reporting FI's address information. Of this information, you can either complete the Address Free section at the bottom if your address information is not neatly formatted or you can complete the information above it, where the country and city will be required before you can save the information. When done, click Save. 
you will now be back on the My Filers List screen and a brief overview of the filing entity that you added. You can always come back to edit this information or add an additional filer. Preparing your import file. If you have only a few CRS reportable accounts and want to manually enter them in, please select Work with My Tax Forms. If you have 10 or more, it makes more sense to import the accounts from an Excel worksheet. Every software installation comes standard with a sample worksheet that contains different tabs, each portraying different import scenarios. This file can be found in the folder that the software was installed in under the Imports, Samples, XLS Samples subfolder. Please select the file labeled import underscore CRS underscore multiple tabs underscore example dot XLSX. CRS allows a single account to have unlimited amounts of account holders, addresses, controlling persons, and payments made throughout the year. Thus, there can be many repeating elements which you may or may not require. Essentially, the simplest version of the import is on the first tab, one account equals one line in Excel. Then the following tabs outline how you can import multiple payments per each account, multiple account holders, multiple controlling persons, etc. Each tab contains notes under the Important Notes section and are definitely worth reading. We will be importing the simplest version of the import, the one line import, where each line in Excel equates to a CRS reportable account. Please notice that each row begins with a record type of P for parent that tells the software each line is a new record. Your column headers, however, can be in any order and not all column headers are required, but the headers you do use should match ours exactly. Any column header that is in bold red text is a required field by CRS. Additionally, the final tabs on the spreadsheet are labeled Types, CC, and Currency. These tabs will give you the CRS acceptable codes and abbreviations for related fields. The CRS Pro software has added an account holder type called CRS007 for a natural person. This is because there is no account holder type defined by the CRS XML format for natural persons, only entities, but our software requires a type to identify every account holder. If you're entering information for a natural person, not an entity, please use this type and it will only be used for software identification purposes and will not be filed in the CRS XML file. Let's go back to the first tab and get ready to import. Keep in mind that the software only imports the first tab on a spreadsheet and all the other notations at the bottom must be removed before importing. Importing tax forms in CRS Pro. We are now done with the hard part and able to import our data into the CRS Pro software. Please select Import New CRS Forms from the left-hand menu, just underneath Step 2. You will now see a blank screen that will eventually show a log of all your historical imports and their status. For now, please select Import Records from Excel or a delimited text file from the top left portion of the screen. This begins a wizard-driven import process that helps explain what to expect at each step. Please click Next to the first screen. CRS Pro's built-in standard import map should be selected. This map is created to match our sample import file, Column Headers. Your map will need to use the same headers, or you can create your own custom map. Select Next again and read the warnings about the potential pitfalls of using Excel as Excel can drop the leading zeros in numerical fields such as postal codes, taxpayer ID numbers, account numbers, and so forth. From the Select the CRS File to Import screen, you can browse to the import file that you have prepared. In this example, we are selecting our sample import file that has only a single tab. After selecting the file, you will notice that the information is displayed in the box below. This is only a glimpse of the file so that you know if you selected the correct file based on the data in the window. Click Next. At the Select the Filer for Import window, you can select the filer that you have previously set up. The software defaults to the filer that you are currently working under, but you can select different filers from the list if you have multiple reporting FIs. 
You can only import into one filer at a time. Please click Next after the correct filer is selected. The View the Mapped CRS Import Records screen shows you how your import column headers match up to ours. If you click on View Next, you can see a brief preview of each CRS account that is being imported. Click Next again. The Specify CRS Import Status screen indicates that the CRS accounts will be imported in a pending status, which means that they have not yet been filed. Click Next. You are now ready to complete step one of three for your import. Please click Finish to load all the account records into the software. The load process checks the format of the incoming account records and data to make sure there are no formatting or technical errors. The software will give you an option to generate a PDF report which sums up the number of accounts and account balances or to continue. In this example, we will continue. If there are common errors with the CRS schema, they will be indicated on the View Fix Import Session Records screen under the Status Validation column. Our sample data is clean, so there are no errors. We can now post these account records so that we can view and file them now. Click Next through the Initializing Wizard screen and the Ready to Import CRS form screens. All your records, including ones with errors or warnings, will be imported into the Work with My Tax Forms for this specific reporting FI. You can now view and update the account records by double-clicking on any of them. And this completes our tutorial. Thank you for watching.